Hi guys, my name is Jennifer and I will be reviewing the show Timeless, which premiered last night. I actually had a video that I filmed last night, my reaction and everything, but unfortunately the sound didn't work, so I'm trying it again. <laughs> Gotta love technology. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So, Timeless premiered last night after it was on its winter hiatus. It was episode 11 of season 1, and it was actually really surprising. There were quite a few twists in it, more than I was expecting there to be. Usually they have like one big twist, but it was actually, a. Uh, it was two this time that I really stuck out. So, to catch you guys up, if you watch the show or not, Basically, Lucy, Wyatt, and Rufus are the main characters, and they go back in time to try to stop a man named Garcia Flynn, who stole one of the two time machines. And he has a plan to try to bring his family back because they were killed by this group called Rittenhouse. And Rittenhouse is basically like this Illuminati-like group. I don't know if we know all the details yet, but they are mainly like the bad bad guys in a sense. At least that's how they're coming off. We're actually not sure yet. Garcia Flynn's kind of the antagonist at the moment, but he's kind of like a... I don't know if I'd call him an anti-hero, but he's got a past. That's kind of the reason why he's the way he is. He used to be a good person, but his family's death really got to him. So anyway, to go back to the story, what happened before the winter hiatus was they went back in time to when Benedict Arnold betrayed America, and they ended up, a lot of stuff ended up happening, and they found the founder of Rittenhouse, and what happened was, he was killed by Garcia Flynn, but his son escaped, and Flynn really wanted to kill the son, too, just in case he was the reason why Rittenhouse still existed. But he got escaped thanks to Lucy, and he got really mad at Lucy and kidnapped her. So Wyatt and Rufus, this is where the episode starts, they come back and they're trying to figure out where she is, and she's still... She's still uh, captured by Flynn. So, basically, Flynn wants her to help him because of this journal that she supposedly will write. She hasn't yet. And what happens is they go back to the 1893 World's Fair because some of the uh, historical figures from that time, Henry Ford, J.P. Morgan, and uh, Thomas Edison... They're part of Rittenhouse, we're told, and Garcia Flynn wants to kill them, which will really change a lot in history. So they go back to that time, and that's where Wyatt and Rufus find them, but they don't exactly find them yet. What happens is Flynn misleads them with one of his henchmen, and they end up at this place called a murder castle which is where the notorious, well, one of the first serial killers, H.H. H. Holmes, is. Which, that's not good, is it? Mm -mm. So, what happens is they get captured by H.H. H. Holmes, and they're stuck in this room with a couple of other people. Meanwhile, to get to uh, the three men, J.P. Morgan, Thomas Edison, and... Henry Ford, couldn't make. <laughs> they go to Houdini, and Lucy manages to trick him into helping. But here's the thing. This is where I started wondering if Houdini <clears throat> was part of Rittenhouse. And for a moment it actually looked like that. But it turns out that it was just a ruse that Lucy set up. He manages to get the gun from Flynn right as the men walk in, and it turns out that he was saving the men, 
not because he was Rittenhouse, but because Lucy asked him to. And he escapes, and Flynn is basically stuck in the room. Yeah, he's in trouble. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Houdini returns to Lucy, and he agrees to help her get Wyatt and Rufus. And so they look for them inside the murder castle, and they manage to find them eventually. But then another twist comes, <laughs> where it turns out one of the men that was trapped in the room was actually H.H. H. Holmes himself, which is actually kind of like a, if you guys see the movie Saw, the Saw killer was in the room the whole time, that kind of thing. So that was quite shocking. And he captures Lucy, but luckily she escapes because she tricks him into thinking that she's a psychic because of all that she knows about him, since she's a historian. So... Eventually, Wyatt finds them, and he kills H.H. H. Holmes. And that's basically the big stuff that happened in the episode. One thing, also, is that Rufus was working for Rittenhouse because he was threatened. But he actually sent a recording that he's done working for them. He'll try to capture Flynn and everything, but he's not going to be their private eyes kind of thing. So, anyway. That was really where we left off. And uh, Wyatt also learned who his wife's killer is, because his wife died before the series began. And we don't know who killed her. So he has a name, but he can't go back to that time, because you can't go back to a time where you existed. So he's kind of stuck with that information, and it really, it's probably going to get to him. So anyway... That's basically what happened in the episode, and I, I thought it was really well done. It's actually a really good show because they do so much research and work on figuring out how to make all of this stuff connect. And when you think about it, history is all connected one way or another, and they do a really good job showing that. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. As far as theories go, I don't really have anything except I get the feeling a lot of Rittenhouse members are historical figures. Maybe not all of them, but it seems like that's the direction they're going in. So I don't exactly know who, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to say JFK or maybe even the killer of JFK. Who knows? We're not sure and we'll find out soon. Um, I think the next episode is Jesse James, where they go back to the Wild West, so that looks exciting. And I think we only have a few more episodes left, so we should be finding out a lot of things soon. I uh, hope you guys... I hope you guys watch the show, because it's really good. It's really worth the time watching. It's very well written, and I think they do a great job, especially the acting is well done. Um, as far as, like, my favorite episode, I'd say so far I really liked the Bonnie and Clyde episode, because that was really interesting. I like that they get into the psyche of all these historical figures that we never really would get to understand if we just learned about them in history class. So, I really like that they're exploring that. Alright, I think I'm going to end this here. Seriously, guys, if you don't watch the show, I highly suggest that you do. It kind of, partly because I love Outlander, right there. <laughs> I, like, I like time traveling shows. They're really unique how they make them work and everything. So I highly suggest you watch it if you like Outlander. If you don't watch Outlander, I suggest you watch Outlander. <laughs> and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!